So we've seen uh, providers, but let's go take a look at modules. So what I want you to do is uh, go back to the internet here and I want to uh, go back to the Terraform registry. And in this case, I wanna go grab some modules. So providers, uh, you know, providers are basically one-to-one -one mappings to the uh, underlying uh, API. So like anything in CloudFormation is pretty much mapped up here. And modules are basically, um, they're like con conveniences because they allow you to configure a, a bunch of resources using a more uh, short form DSL, okay? So like if we open up here the VPC, this is a, a very easy way for us to define an entire VPC without having to create like each of these resources individually. So if we had to do this by hand, it'd be a lot of work. So what we'll do is go ahead and copy this. Um, and we're just going to expand this a little bit here. It's a bit hard because my font's really large, but you know, of course, uh, you'd probably be using a smaller font. And so what I want you to notice is that it starts with a module block and we're providing it a source. So Terraform AWS modules VPC AWS. Uh, and that's how it knows to map over to this one over here on the Terraform registry. Uh, and this is just defining a new VPC. As long as we don't have any uh, conflicts with this block, it should deploy no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a go. So let's just type in Terraform apply or plan. And actually, before we even do a Terraform plan or apply, notice that the module isn't installed. So this is where we'd have to type our Terraform in it. And that's gonna go ahead and grab that module. Great, and so once we have that, we can now do our Terraform plan. And we'll give it a moment here. And notice that it's gonna generate a lot of stuff out, that's fine. So we will say Terraform apply. And I just wanna auto approve that, save myself some trouble. That's gonna go set us, us up a, um, a module. And I wanna point out that actually, uh, when you're writing files out here, and we're gonna find this later on in the course that even uh, even when you write a single file like maintf, you are creating your, yourself uh, a Terraform module because everything is based off of modules. Um, so you'll see that later on in the course. But we'll just wait here until this is uh, finished here, okay? So after a short little wait there, I actually ran into an issue um, here. So I, I probably, I was a bit too, uh, too quick to just copy this over because um, it is having some issues. I think it's because our provider is in US East one and we're trying to specify something in US West. So that's probably our problem. So, or this is actually uh, Europe, which is no surprise because Anton who made this is actually over in Europe. So it makes sense that he might set it to that. So I'm gonna do US East uh, here, right? And so that's something that you have to understand that if you have a uh, provider, it's gonna be mapped to that one. Actually, if we wanted to keep it in uh, e, uh, EU, uh, West, this is a great opportunity to kind of show you how to make a, another provider as a reference. So I'm just gonna go here and paste this in and we'll change this to EU West. Was it one or two? It's one. And so in here, what we can do is set ourselves up an alias. Okay. And uh, we could just say like, this is called uh, U, uh, we'll just say this, this is EU or AWS EU. And I actually might not remember how to do this exactly. So I'm gonna just type in um, Terraform resource alias, because that's what this is called. It's a meta argument, Google Europe. Okay, so I just wanted to know if I had to type in Google or something like that in front of it. So if we make our way back over here and we go back to the top here, we don't need to put the word AWS, that's just redundant. So we'll just say EU. And if we go down to our uh, VPC here and type in provider, we'll say uh, AWS EU. Okay, and so that should allow us to have both. Um, I'm not sure if we have to run Terraform init, so we'll run Terraform plan first. It might say, hey, you gotta run Terraform init maybe. Uh, an argument provider is not expected here. Let's just make our way back over here. Oh, because that's to be within the resource and I put it in the module block. So we'll just cut that out here. And it doesn't uh, doesn't have that. So actually, I, I wonder how you'd set a provider for module. Maybe you don't. I'll be back here in a second, okay? All right, so I just pulled up the documentation here and here's a module and it has this little providers block. So let's give that a go and see if that fixes our problem here. So I'll just paste this in. 
providers, AWS, and we'll say EU. Okay, and see if that works. You know, again, it's not hard. Like if you get stuck, you can pretty much Google anything. Uh, and so that did not error out. And so if I was to do a Terraform apply, auto approve, that should work. And so I'll see you back here uh, in a bit, okay? All right, so I have one little uh, error here. I actually typed in uh, EU as uh, instead of US there. And so again, my point is, is that Terraform validate is not gonna catch these things. You're only gonna find these uh, when you actually run them. So we'll run this one more time and I think it's going to work and I'll see you back here uh, when this module is finished deploying, okay? All right, so after waiting there, it looks like our uh, VPC is ready. So if we make our way over to AWS, go to VPCs. Uh, of course, this is in the uh, European region there. So what we'll have to do is just switch over there in a moment. But I just want to show you that it's not here. But if we go over um, and find EU West 1, which is apparently Ireland. Uh, there it is. So there's my VPC, the one we created there, okay? Um, so yeah, um, what we'll do next is we'll just kind of break up these files and make things a little bit easier to work with, okay?